For more anatomy related videos please subscribe to my channel, Learn with Dr. Tanya Hashik. So in this class we will discuss about the most common heart defects. This is to just give you an idea regarding what are the most common heart defects and also I will give you a general idea regarding each of these defects. So the first one is the patent foramen ovale. In this condition the septum primum it usually closes immediately after birth but in this condition it do not fuses and as a result there is connection between the right atrium and the left atrium. It is usually seen in 20 to 25 percentage of the population. So it is usually common. In most of the cases it is not dangerous. But in certain cases it may become dangerous and as a result it is closed by means of heart surgeries. And it is diagnosed by means of auscultation. You can see an abnormal heart sound. That is you can hear a murmur sound and if the condition is not life threatening it's better to monitor the situation rather than to do a risky heart surgery. So this is the patent foramen ovale. Next is the coarctation of the aorta. It is the abnormal narrowing of the aorta. It is usually seen in the place where the ductus remnants of the ductus arteriosus was present. That is, during the fetal circulation, there is a connection between the iota and the pulmonary trunk. This is to bypass the pulmonary circulation. So, it is usually seen in the remnants of the ductus arteriosus. So, in some conditions, it is fairly benign and not detected during later in life. But, in some conditions where there is drastic restriction, it is life threatening and in children that is in, in, in infants the symptoms are there is breathing difficulty, poor appetite and trouble feeding and in older adults there is dizziness, fainting, shortness of breath, fatigue, headache, nosebleed etc. So next is the patent ductus arteriosus. So, in the coarctation of iota, we have already discussed what ductus arteriosus is. Ductus arteriosus, it is a blood vessel that connects the iota with the pulmonary trunk. It is seen in the fetal circulation. This is to bypass the pulmonary circulation. So, it closes immediately after birth. But if it do not closes after birth, this condition is called as a patent ductus arteriosus. And as a result, the blood from the iota, it flows to the pulmonary trunk. And as a result, there is more fluid flowing towards the lungs. And this makes the breathing difficult. And the symptoms are shortness of breath, tachycardia, enlarged heart, widened pulse pressure, and poor weight gaining in infants. So the treatment is the surgical closure or the manual closure. So that is patent ductus arteriosus. So next is the tetralogy of the phallus. It occurs when there is an opening between the interventricular septum. It is a combination of four defects. That is there is pulmonary stenosis that is narrowing or the blockage of the pulmonary trunk. There is overriding of iota that is iota it opens to both right and left ventricle. So there is a mixing up of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood and there is left uh, sorry right ventricular hypertrophy. So the symptoms include disturbed heart murmur, low, low blood oxygen level, dyspnea, polycythemia, clubbing etc. And the, there is failure to grow and develop. And it occurs in 400 among 1 million population. And the normal treatment for it is surgical repair. 
and the survival rate is 75 percentage in the first year and 60 percentage only in 4 years 30 percentage in 10 years and in above 40 years the survival rate is only 5 percentage so this is the end of today's video This is the end of today's video, for more videos please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.